Hi, my name is Mark O'Neill. I'm a lieutenant with the St. Charles County Sheriff's Department. I'm currently serving as the chairperson for the St. Charles, Warren, and Lincoln County Crisis Intervention Team. It's my pleasure tonight to introduce to you this year's recipient of the Ryan Kendall Award. This is a new award that was developed with the assistance of the Kendall family and the guiding council to recognize one officer for outstanding service in his community. It was once said that heroes cannot be made, they must be born. They are separated from others by their courage, dedication, empathy, compassion, and leadership. They strive to correct wrongs and to make the world a better place. And in doing so, they give hope where there was none before. One such hero was Brian Kendall. During his 11 years of life, his disease robbed him not only physically, but mentally. Yet his one true passion to fight the injustices of the world never wavered. He never thought about himself, and it didn't matter where a wrong was done or why it was done. He was there to make it right. Whether it was protecting his little sister or arresting the bad guys or giving his mom a hug when it appeared she couldn't go on, he was there giving hope where there was none. There was never a man, woman, or child that admired and looked up to police officers more than Ryan. To him, you are all superheroes. And he would be so proud and happy if he were here to present the award personally. Today, we honor the officer who stands above the rest. The officer who used his crisis intervention training to give a consumer hope where there was none. The officer who had the courage to risk his life to save another. The officer whose empathy and compassion gave another a second chance at life. Today, we salute Ryan's hero, an officer he would have been proud to call a friend. I'm Sergeant Kendall with the O'Fallon Police Department. I've been the CIT team coordinator for the past four years. On July 14, 2014, we responded to a 911 call from a woman who stated her son was suicidal and armed with a handgun. Upon the initial patrol officers arriving, they were able to ascertain the subject had left the area, but the mother had the subject on the cell phone. Sergeant Myers was able to take the phone from the mother and establish a conversation with the suicidal subject. During the conversation with Sergeant Myers, um, the subject repeatedly asked to speak to his mom so he could tell her goodbye. And he also stated that any officers who approached him would be shot. Due to Sergeant Myers' training and experience, he recognized that the subject wanting to say goodbye to his mother was probably the final step prior to him committing suicide. Sergeant Myers was able to keep the subject on the phone for approximately 45 minutes. That also includes the subject hanging up on Sergeant Myers twice and him reinstituting contact with him. By keeping him on the phone this long, it accomplished two things. One, it aided us in locating the subject, and two, it kept the subject from harming himself. The conversation with the deputies who were on scene revealed that the subject was trying to remove the firearm, and they believed wholeheartedly that the subject was going to either A, shoot a deputy, or B, attempt suicide by cop. They credited Sergeant Meyer's hard work and teamwork between both agencies in saving the subject's life that day. The majority of the officers have been to CIT training, which aided them not only in dealing with the mother who was hysterical, but with Sergeant Myers going above and beyond with the suicidal subject. The Ryan Kendall Outstanding Service Award was named after my son Ryan Kendall, who died in 2012. Ryan loved the police and wanted to be a policeman when he grew up. Policemen were heroes to Ryan, and he was very excited any time he got to meet one. It's my pleasure to introduce the 2014 Ryan Kendall Outstanding Service Award to Sergeant Derek Myers. I was here.